Good evening and welcome to Cavan TV's News and Views. My name is Anya Duffy and thank you for watching us on Cavan TV. Well, this time last year, I remember it really well, we were at the end of COVID or we didn't know what stage we were at with COVID. Can we go out? Can we not go out or whatever? But I remember going to Cavan Arts Festival and it was the first outdoor event of the whole year after COVID and it was absolutely a brilliant event. Now to tell us all about last year's and this year's event is Kim Cafferty. Kim, you're welcome once again to the studio and thanks for coming in. Thanks very much, Anya. Thanks for having me. Kim, tell me your, uh, what, what you have to do with this festival. You are the instigator of it. I am the instigator, well, um, with a group, with a really dedicated and brilliant group um, of friends. Uh, we have a little committee and we meet all year long. So it, 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 while the festival is four days and nights in May each year, um, we work all year round with meetings and planning and it gets a bit more hectic as we get closer to the time. But yeah, so with a group, um, we're about five or six um, regularly and then of course the team swells uh, closer to the festival time. Yeah. Well let's talk about last year. As I said it was brilliant release. It was the first almost outdoor event in Cavan that we actually could go to without fear and unmasked. It was brilliant. It was a great yeah. atmosphere and it was a great success. Yeah we were really thrilled with it. I think last year there was a big energy um, in the whole country and, and, and everywhere. But we were oh, really ready yeah, to celebrate. Yeah, we were chomping at the bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, were, we were pushing at the gates to get out. And I suppose we were just lucky in the way it fell. It almost looked like maybe, I mean, it's hard to believe now, but that COVID restrictions were still mm. being talked about or floated really, sometimes. Really yeah. So while really. we were preparing the festival, like obviously it happens months and months and months in advance, um, it was still a little bit hard to know what we would be allowed to do. But as it became clear that we could, we knew that... Um, a lot, not all, but a lot of our events happen outdoors in the Con Smith Park. So there would be a feeling of safety there. So if people didn't want yeah. to come to our indoor concert, there was, was the safety of the park. Yeah, it was an absolute great step back to normality. Let's talk about some of the highlights last year. Uh, you know, as we were saying, the festival caters for everybody, young, old alike. Arty, unarty, there's no such, no such word. But, it, you know, it's something for everybody in the show. But some of the highlights of last year, I do think Steve Cooney and Irna... Irna Leonard, yeah. Was, yeah. for me, uh, uh, musically, was, was a wonderful Beautiful thing. Beautiful But there were so many things. And also the light festival yes. thing outside in the grounds yeah. of the Ernie Parish yeah. Church as well. Rogue Fire Church, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. How, how in the name of goodness do you get all these ideas from? Oh, uh, well, well, in my day job, I tour to other arts festivals with our shows. So I'm a performer, and so when I'm at the other festivals, and once I'm finished my shows, I'm going around to try and see mm -hmm. lots of work. So you have to go out and see lots of work and keep an eye on who's making new work and what, who's touring. Um, so that's I'm lucky that I'm always at the other um, arts that's festivals where the with my own work. From. Yeah. That's where the idea. And just again, to talk about last year, uh, great family events. And of course, we mentioned that it was in Con Smith uh, Park. Yeah. And the you know safe mm. and for children, yeah, parents so like great parking, great family. Key part while now we're kind of spreading all across Cavan Town. Like we work mm. with our wonderful partner venue, the Town Hall Theatre, and more non unconventional arts venues like the Cavan Parish Church. Very beautiful venue. We're thrilled to be working with. Mm. And this year we have some secret mystery locations for venues in the program. This year, we'll talk about that, which yeah. we we'll talk about. But um, at the heart of the festival really is the Consmith Park, where we take over the park for the Saturday and Sunday, so daytime. This year it'll be from 12 to 5 each day, yeah. and Just then on Saturday evening. Before we set into that, we'll talk about this year now. And folks, put this date in your diary. It's coming up soon, May the 18th to the 21st in Cavan. Put that in your diary. So away you go. Tell us about this year, Kim. So this year, well, we're really thrilled. We have four days and nights. And like you say, I mean, it's a probably an overused phrase of something for everybody. But we really do try to think of something for everybody, that there be something. So we um, have a great coup is to have Cormac Begley. And um, some of your viewers might be aware of the Begley dynasty, the family down from West Kerry. Um, and they're incredible musicians. So Cormac Begley's playing in that Cavan Parish Church on Friday night. And can I say the acoustics in that church are absolutely wonderful. Class, it's it? an, yeah. intimate gig, an intimate gig. Uh, it's a place you must go to. Yeah, Brilliant so we're really delighted about that. It's a ticketed event. And that's a ticketed event. Yeah. And the tickets are all on cavanartsfestival.ie. Yeah. And we website. remember that, cavanartsfestival.ie. Go online to get your tickets and get them early because uh, there's just so many. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah. We hope we'll have a few sold out events. So then... Um, we have um, something that's really interesting is um, a work in progress cabaret. So on Thursday night, probably our first 
um, big evening event in the Town Hall Theatre. We will have three different artists who are Cavan or Cavan based. Um, contemporary dance from Jesse Keenan, hip hop music producing from Orrin O'Brien and um, a singer songwriter called Rita Perry and three extremely talented young artists in their own right. And the idea with the work in progress cabaret is that we tend to always go to something very finished and polished when we go to see anything, a show or a gig or a, anything, it's always very polished and finished. And this idea is that it's a work in progress. So they're not fully, fully, fully completely at their end point. Rita's about to record her EP this summer. Mm -hmm. Jesse's halfway through the process of making a dance show. So the idea is that we can kind of crack open the creative process and see, they might explain to us or talk or share a little bit about what it's like being, you know, at the, throughout that process and, and how they work. So I that, that might be kind of interesting to start. folk go to, the, do they book tickets through the town hall? They can, if they call the town hall, they'll guide you towards our website. You can book all our tickets yeah. on cavanartsfestival.ie. Okay. Now another great idea you have is the paint club. Tell me about that. That's paint an interesting Paint club is very one. cool. Mm. Paint club is really cool. So. For the price of your ticket, you will be given your easel, your paints, your paintbrushes, everything you could possibly need to create an oil painting. Um, on a very what fun if, evening. What if you're crap? Yeah, well, there's no such thing as being crap because you still go home with your masterpiece. You have to hang it on your own wall or you could give it to somebody you don't like as a present afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> So tell us so, how that was. Yes, yeah, so uh, we have an amazing painter, this woman called Lorraine O'Neill, and so it's our first in Cavan, they've never done it in Cavan, but they tour the country doing this quite often, so they're very experienced facilitators, and they'll guide you through a painting. So the techniques and how and how to mix your paints and how to apply them, excuse me, and all of that process. And it's in the metric bar, so the new cocktail bar in Calvin Town at the back of the Imperial. Mm. So you can enjoy a drink with your friends while you're doing your evening painting. <laughs> That'll be really good. So yeah, I think so. Just when you're talking about this year and uh, and um, you have sent us some photographs of last year. That's right. And um, if you'd like to talk through some of them. Sure, yeah. So we have um, we had one major coup for us last year. We were really, really thrilled was to be able to get a band called The Villagers, or Villagers with Conor O'Brien and his full, full band, not just sometimes he tours an acoustic set. In the town hall, it was really an incredible moment mm -hmm. um, for Cavan because the same, so the lighting director who came and set up and the same performance with the same lighting and everything happened in the Manchester Arena for 350,000 people as we got for the 400 capacity standing wow. in the town hall on a summer's night. So that was incredible. He's, he's won the Choice Music Award. He's really, that was one of the really last gifted. Years, and that's one of your pictures. And, and moving on. Yeah. Um, so we will also have um, what was very fun was local artists Carrie Lewis and Molly O'Reilly. And they created an installation confession box in uh, the Con Smith Park. So part of the installation, the whole park becomes an exhibition and a gallery. So that was really mm -hmm. fun as well. And have you any more? Yeah. Um, last year we had Rogu. So you mentioned before we had the incredible Rogu there. Um, Cork-based fire artists, well, one of them's French, but they all live yeah. in Cork, and so they do fire juggling. That was amazing. Outside the church. That was amazing. Big I was standing like, you know, gobsmacked yeah. at that, and it was yeah. just perfect in the grounds mm, of our yeah, church. Yeah, it's really beautiful, right in the heart of town there, yeah. yeah. Okay, so to get back to this year, and get back to park life, and that's on the Saturday, but um, do you want to go on to maybe Sunday night, Saturday night before that? Sure, yes, so Saturday night. Nice. Chamber, Chamber Grist is on, yeah, on, really on Saturday evening. So we have two musicians who are very highly trained classical musicians um, who composed this piece of music. They, they perform with a group called Crash Ensemble who are very famous and they've been going 20 years and they play the National Concert Hall. And so Alex and Barry from Crash Ensemble have composed this music inspired by the cave system. So the marble arch and the caves, the other caves around Ireland and the geology and the sounds that they hear in those caves along with sculptor Lane Harrington. And so they've created this sculpture and sound composition piece. Really and we don't, sound. and this is a world premiere in Calvin, so we don't have any caves in Calvin Town, but we do have a secret subterranean location. So ticket holders for this, for Chamber Grist, there'll be two performances so that we can keep both quite intimate, one at 6 p.m. on Saturday evening and one at 8 p.m. on Saturday evening. Ticketed event, folks, yeah. tickets are 15 years, on CavanArtsFestival.ie. That's it. And we'll meet in front of the courthouse and you'll be brought to your secret location. You'll be busted, will you be busted? No, it'll be a walk, on short foot? walk. On wow. Foot. Yeah. 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 So location. that's really exciting. That's mm. a very cool one and a world premiere in Cavan mm. as well of something new. So then you've got Park Life, um, which takes place on the Saturday and the Sunday. And I'm glad to see you've got Cavan Symphonia in there. Yes. One of the items. We couldn't have asked where that Cavan Symphonia Orchestra <laughs> yeah. and Cavan Symphonia Youth Orchestra. Yeah. So Park Life is really the heart of the festival, is Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. We set up our big top tent, we turn the, the Consmith Park, which is very beautiful in its own right. It doesn't need our help. But and it's getting more beautiful And it's getting more beautiful time, yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. It really is a beautiful part of the town. Um, and so well cared for With by the all the groups. Ducks. Yeah, and the family of ducks, yeah. <laughs> So uh, we hope the ducks will like our programming this year. 
So we have music, we have uh, workshops, we have circus shows, we have comedy shows, we have sculptures, and the whole art gallery will be all over the park. Um, it'll be really beautiful and very accessible, and we would have lovely, delicious food as well. Great so, stuff. yeah, from 12 to 5 on Saturday and Sunday, May 20th and 21st. Great. So tell me about Horsebox Theatre. Horsebox Theatre. Horsebox Theatre is very cool. I don't know if somebody, um, some of your viewers might have come across it before. They used to always play at the major comedy festivals in, in um, the Ivy Gardens in Dublin. And they might even recognise Spanish Barony there. He's in the, in the programme from TV. He's, he's quite a famous Irish actor. But Horsebox Theatre is... Spanish Bernie, he's not Irish Paddy, no. No, no Spanish Bernie. Yeah, right, okay. Spanish Bernie, you'll see. <laughs> so Spanish, oh, Horsebox Theatre has been, is a horsebox, converted mm. into a very beautiful, very, very beautiful red velvet, golden lined theatre. And it's a show for five minutes at a time. So uh, that will be free in the Consumate yeah. Park. That's really funny. And to get to a big night of music, and couldn't we have it at Calvin's own play? No, yeah, we have the wonderful, the incredibly talented Evan Walsh, who was drummer and multi instrumentalist with the Stripes. Yeah, and his great. latest musical project, his new band is called Eddie Cruiser and the Savage Hearts. And so it's a double bill in our big top in the tent on Saturday mm -hmm. evening. And the second band are called Bad Hands, and they're a really, really brilliant up and coming band from Meath. Um, fantastic, huge sound. So, mm -hmm. um, two bands for a very, very fairly priced ticket and a magical night in the big top tent. Yeah, and then tell me about me Meddler Mull Mulligan because you were talking about Mulligan's Millions before that. Is that the right one? No. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. So Meddler Mulligan, um, if some of your viewers might have seen, we, we screened the film that was made by a, a team of Calvin artists including Mel Doherty and um, Father Turlock O'Reilly mm. in the 70s, I believe. And so the first film that they made was Mulligan's Millions and we screened that in the park at our mini cinema tent last year and this year we're really pleased to be that screening. That was very popular because I, mm. I queued up and I, I couldn't wait to get into that's it, I right. had to go somewhere else. That's right, that's but right. That was very popular was so you yeah. have to go and prepare yeah. to wait for yeah. That. Yeah. Now this time we are aware of how popular the film yeah. is so we're bringing it to the town hall ah. so we'll have more seats and bigger and dry. So Meddler Mulligan <coughs> excuse me, has been remastered so the quality has been brought right up to modern incredible quality. Um, and it's really beautiful because we see lots of familiar faces and yeah. sights. A film made in the mm -hmm. 70s in Cavan is, I guess, a pretty rare thing. It's a lovely flashback to that. Yeah. Not so distant past. Not so distant past. No, no, no. And I think Paul uh, Connolly had something to do with that. Paul Connolly, the filmmaker from Ghana mm -hmm. and a really talented filmmaker he is, he remastered this. So he's yeah. sat and done a huge amount of work to bring it up to modern quality. So we're really excited about that as well. We think it'll be a magical evening of cinematic history yeah, for Kevin. That's going to be an absolutely fantastic home. Now tell me this, have you Googled the long weather forecast yet? Uh, <laughs> I actually, would you believe, recently met Evelyn Cusack, who what? was in Cavan, and she's a very, oh. very pleasant lady, and she told me the weather's going to be really good for May 18th. Wow, well, that's from the horse's mouth. Listen, no, yeah. <laughs> can't, can't ask for better than that. Yeah. So great stuff, and thanks once again, Kim, for coming, taking time out and coming in and, tell us this t and talking to us this evening. You know, great festival, and I knew when people are planning festivals like the minute one festival is over you are planning the next one like this is great stuff like how does all this come about where do you get your funds from who helps you how does yeah, it all, where are the yeah. ideas it's a good good question way? so we're really really lucky in Cavan to be supported by an amazing arts office so the arts office the arts and culture department within Cavan County Council led by our arts officer Katrina O'Reilly and really she is fantastic best, the yeah. best we could yeah, possibly hope great. for and all of Cavan County Council have been really supportive of the festival we're an independent festival set up by a group of artists and friends and people who are interested in arts and culture. But Cavan County Council support us massively. Emma Clancy, who some people might know as the county librarian, is also the head of Creative Ireland for Cavan County Council. Mm -hmm. And she's supremely supportive of the festival as well. And then we have other groups. We talk to um, Joanne Hayes in the tourism office there. And this is Cavan again in Cavan County Council. Local businesses, excuse me, and the National Arts Council. So in Marion Square, under the Department of the culture, heritage and tourism, that big long department, they support us as well. But we have to apply each year fresh, so there's a lot of lot, lot of, of application forms mm -hmm. and we're not always successful. So we have to continue to work and try and make it happen each year, okay. all year round. So actually, would you believe this week, we already, the, the deadline for funding applications for next year's festival is this week. Wow. So that's yeah, how far in advance we're supposed to be thinking and working. You're yeah. working on next year's Tipping already. away in the background, yeah. Arts Festival, Arts Cavan Festival, Street Festivals, um, it's an exciting time for Cavan really, it's come to the fore. It really is, yeah. I mean, In the you, last few years. Yeah. Take Covid out of the mix. Yeah. And even through that we were able to do well, like on our own f um, 
for Kevin Arts Festival, we were able to do those murals around town. Your viewers might have seen the big toga buggy on McIntyre's. And we were able to do bring art to audiences without gathering a crowd. Mm -hmm. But it's really an exciting time for Cavan culturally. I mean, there's loads of festivals and loads of events, both free and ticketed for all taste and all um, interests. It's really great. You know, like we have Cormac Begley there in the church on Friday night. He sold out Vicar Street on his own um, for two nights last weekend. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go to Dublin anymore for those things or Belfast right. or Cork or, or London. Now they're coming to Cavan and we're on their radar and ourselves, Cavan Arts Festival and other events are bringing these big, big national acts to Cavan now. So, mm. yeah, it's a really exciting time. Well, there you have it, folks. Cavan Arts Festival, May the 18th to uh, May the 21st, four packed days and nights. Um, great stuff. And for people abroad looking out there and you want, you know, a lot of our viewers are abroad. Um, it's great for them to look on and see, you know, what's going on mm -hmm. here too. And, and if anybody wants to come home on holidays to see festivals as well, your this festivals are, is you know, time. Is, this yeah. is the time and Cavan yeah. is a good place to come in the yeah, summertime. It really so. is, yeah, yeah. And so that will be our, our time is this third this weekend in May every year now. And we've yeah. already had people talking about, oh, well, I'm coming home from London and I'm coming home from Australia and yeah. America and I'm going to time it with that. Um, which we're absolutely thrilled to hear. Mm. Yeah. Well, well done, Kim. Well done again to yourself and your hard working committee and to all involved for the Cavan Arts Festival. So there you have it, folks. May the 18th to the 21st in and around Calvin Town, Cavan Arts Festival 2023. Thank you for watching Cavan TV's News and Views.